Buhay! Welcome to the Philippine Association of Campus Student Advisor National Convention 2020. Step up! Synergy of triumphs and exuding perseverance and unlocking possibilities. And we are now in our day five. Today, November 27, 2020. All is well. It is with pride and honor to be with you this morning and be part of another milestone of PAXA history. Number two, which is connected to my first point, provoke, provoke discussion, provoke conversation. Kagabi lamang, kung maalala mo, um, Josh, sa ating pag-uusap, I don't know kung kagabi yun, uh, may mga pagkakataon halimbawa na, tinur- lalo na ako sa aking henerasyon, bawal namin pag-usapan, we were not supposed to talk about taboo subjects over dinner or over lunch. We were not supposed to talk about sex. We were not supposed to talk about money uh, or the death penalty, anything or anything that's contentious. You're not supposed to dishonor the food. We can only talk about happy things. Kaya, uh, hindi ako nagtaka halimbawa noong uh, congressional hearing ng ABS-CBN. May nagsabi na, uh, ginagalang ko naman uh, si Boy Abunda, pero I am irritated, according to one letter sender, every time he asks questions like sex or chocolates sa aking fast talk. Why? Because we're unsettled. We're not comfortable to talk about sex. We're nervous. We're fidgety. Because sex is not supposed to be talked about. Why? Why can't we talk about sex with responsibility and love? Ang daming unwanted pregnancies. Kasi ang nagiging basehan ng mga bata ay YouTube. Ang nagiging basehan ng bata ay kapwa-bata. When will we learn as advisors, as parents, as students, as citizens of this country, that if we know something, if you know something, share it. Talk about sex without having to be nervous, without having to laugh, without having to sneer. I sex. <laughs> you know, try it out. Talk to your students about sex. Ang umpisa niya, ninenerbios, nagtatawanan. But as the discussion goes on, you will realize that these young kids are open. They're listening. They're listening. What is the sense about sex? Okay, money. Hindi pwede pag-usapan ng pera. We can't talk about money uh, as a family. It, it's supposed to be spoken in whispers. Why can't we talk about money? Why can't we talk about not having money? We can. Lalo na bilang pamilya, bilang magkakaibigan. Naririnig natin, alam nyo, kayo, tayo, we should live below our means. Ako naniniwala ako, alimbawa, at ako'y takot na takot na takot sa utang. Dahil galing po ako sa napakahirap na pamilya. When my father passed on, you know, nakasanla, our house was mortgaged with the Philippine National Bank for a certain amount of money. I am just so afraid of utang. And I talked to financial advisors, to financial analysts. Sabi ko, what's wrong with me? Can you talk to me about money? With our students, with our teachers, with our uh, friends, we can talk about money. Pare, mare, dai, boy, etc. Pag wala ka, wag. Kamangutang. Let's talk about it like it is the most natural thing in the world. A lot of problems come about because we're afraid to talk about what we were made to believe as difficult subjects. Wag natin, wag natin pag-usapan ito dahil bawal, etc. This is a time in our lives when we have to revisit ourselves. What do I deserve to know? Bakit nagkakaproblema tayo madala sa pera? Dahil hindi natin pinag-uusapan. Bakit gumagastos tayo? Why do we spend money that we don't even earn yet? Because we are not financially educated. Because we were told that it is taboo to talk about money. So that's my second point.
equilibrium. Kami, in social development, naniniwala kami that you can only find your center. 